friends. I had I had a lot of friends in my school time. So I miss my friends. When I embraced Islam, they didn't talk with me. <laughs> so I love to talk with them. Uh, if I go back to uh, at the time, so I will choose Islam only. Islam actually gave me freedom. Uh, it released me from worrying about how others think of me and it released me from being overtaken by fear, by wealth, by uh, people's judgment. It also gives me freedom that I can respect myself as a woman. I don't need to wear for you, man. I wear for myself. I wear for my husband. I don't need to please you because I need this job. One day, suddenly uh, at night, everything turns around in, in on me and I feel like emptiness and I feel questioning myself so many questions like what am I doing in this world what is this life for and I feel like confused and and then I start to think like I think there is something that I have to do in this life so how can I find God where is God I want to talk with God I search a word in the internet and he said la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah I didn't really know the meaning of this but uh, I I uh, I was I feel so comfortable with this word, and I try to memorize it. And every night when I go to sleep, I I I, I was because I feel like I was lost in this world, and I start crying. And every time that I go to sleep, I just say La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. I feel so comfortable, and I start to feel like that God was guiding me to find the truth about my life and the true path. So it was like, I feel like some, I feel like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he opened my heart. Yeah, out of, <laughs> no, in one night like that. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, set a standard of helping his wives in the kitchen. Uh, modern Muslim husbands also help their wives in day-to-day -day lives. What I like uh, the most of all Islam, is that I am totally free. I feel free and liberated. I know now that I am equal with man. That was my, my first big question and my first big doubt about uh, Christianism is why I cannot be equal with man. Why I can never be equal with man even if, even if I am perfect. In other words, we came to look down on the hijab because the British said so, said it's a sign of how inferior Islam is, and it's the symbol of Islam. Being a woman in Islam, I can choose if I want to go to work, yes or no, if I want to have a job, yes or no. I don't need to go to work. I have the liberty of staying at home. I also have the liberty to choose if I stay at home and educate my child or not, and I choose to stay at home and educate my child. After 9-11, there was so much anti-Muslim anti feeling, uh, and also the idea that Islam, Islam presses women became just a normal view expressed in the media and so on, even though there was no ground to it. Historically, there's no evidence for this. It was just a prejudice that was being repeated by the media, and many Muslim women felt offended by this, and they wanted to make clear to whoever they were speaking with, or wherever they were out in the streets, 
that they were Muslim and they stood by it and did not accept the prejudices of society. Um, men looked at me like I was the object and I wanted to, I wanted them to look at me like, not looking at me like I'm object, but that they respect me more. Another key element, of course, here is that you have a society which is not only democratic here, but which believes in the rights of minorities. And so many minorities, in fact, one of the young women I asked, why, what does wearing hijab mean to you and why do you wear it? Uh, she said among the reasons that she wore it was the same reason that her Jewish friends, wore, uh, male friends, wore a yarmulke. It's a way of saying we're a minority, we have a right to be here, these are our rights and you should respect us and you, know, you should not be contemptuous of us. Now that I'm converted, I have, I have something beautiful and it's called the prayer. We pray five times a day, which means that five times a day I relax. Five times a day I'm in meditation. Five times a day I give my worries to my God, to my Creator. And this is, this is my favorite thing in Islam. If, if you've never prayed, go for it, just try. It, it'll, it'll save you. It saved me.